We now have donuts. Finally, we got all sorts. VG's was open. They were out of glazed donuts. They were out. They had like nothing actually. It was weird. But yeah, we got. I think we got six chocolate frosted. Clayton got some fruity donuts. I don't know what he got. And then I got an old fashioned glazed donut because I just wanted one glaze. And the phone has to ring. So yeah, we're gonna eat them. today and yes I am starting with shrugs I actually have seen this from a couple people on YouTube actually and they hit shrugs before they hit all their lateral raises to take out any part of your trap being um, being used over your lateral delt instead and so because of that I figured why not burn out my traps at the very beginning of my workout so then any lateral raise I do will be focused primarily on that side delt over having trap engagement, which is obviously not what you want when you're hitting shoulders. And so I did three or four sets in front with that Smith machine because there wasn't an open rack. And then I did another three sets with dumbbells here. I was doing 80 pounds, just sets of 15 to 20 to really just burn out my traps. After doing all those shrugs and burning out my traps, I decided to do my normal warm-up, which you guys have probably seen in all my videos, where I'll do about two or three sets of lateral raises, just super light, just getting some blood in there. And I'll do those single arm with the cable, just because I feel like that isolates it very well. I always keep my feet super close to it and hold on and lean away from it. And that just helps me really isolate that side delt to warm up. And then, as you guys know, I always follow that up with my front delt raise. And now my front delts are weird because that's part of the iffy situation with my shoulder. My doctor never really gave me the straight okay to do front raises, but he never said that was bad. He more said stay away from pushes. And so I've been doing really light front delt work and it hasn't really bothered my shoulders. So I don't really see a reason why I shouldn't do it as long as I stay light and be safe about it. And so all just part of it and I actually have followed by rear delts which once again is still super light just warming up the muscles before I actually do any real work to them and so that's the end of my shoulder warm-up as always and then after that I do my tricep seated with about 15 pound dumbbells and today instead of using my uh, grips that I normally use I actually put fat grips on it because I wanted to see how that would feel to see if it would really make a difference and it didn't make that big of a difference obviously it was harder to grip because the whole point of them is it's supposed to build your forearms but once again three front rays or three sets in total ten front rays ten side ten rear and we did three or four sets of this me and Clayton Clayton hops in a second he was doing chest earlier but yeah we do three sets of these and I like this because it's kind of like a good uh, 
a good movement just to warm up all three delts at the same time which is why I really like it as my first exercise just to kind of pump blood all up in your shoulders before you go heavy in anything and I always do these light just to almost as a second warm up just to get more blood in there. After doing my seated dumbbell tricep, I move on to the machine lateral raise. And I really like this because I'll do about a double drop set where I'll take a heavy weight, do about 12, then I'll drop a set, do 12 again. Well, my goal is to hit 12 every time, obviously, but I don't always hit it. But So then I'll drop it 12, so I've done 24 reps. Then I'll drop it one more time, which should be considerably easy. And then I'll do one more set of 12. And then I'll do about three sets of this or until my shoulders are basically shot and <clears throat> this actually gives me a pretty good contraction for my side delt because at the top there's still as much tension as there is at the bottom compared to a dumbbell where you can kind of get some momentum swinging the machine kind of keeps it more stable throughout the movement and <clears throat> after we hit our side delts of course we want to hit all heads of the delts so we go to the rear delt on the pec deck and these I try to focus, I put my hand, Clayton does them a little differently, but I kind of keep my hand almost on the straight down bar and I have my thumbs pointed down, pinkies pointed up, because that gives me the best stretch and pull on my rear delt. And so I'll do four sets of 15 on these. Now it's time for my favorite part of all my shoulder workouts and it's my lateral raise sets where I will basically do either a single drop set as of today or I'll do a double drop set or I'll do a single drop set with a uh, human uh, resistance which I did not do I don't think I've done that yet but I'll have to do that for a video soon but here I'm just doing 25 sets of 12 to a drop to 15 it was kind of a lighter day normally I'll do 30 to 20 but I don't know, my shoulders aren't feeling great today. First shoulder workout since my cortisone shot. And they're a little sore still, or my one shoulder still a little sore. And so me and Clayton just went back and forth for about four sets of this. Really trying to pull with the elbow to focus on keeping all the tension on the side delt and trying to have minimal trap uh, takeover. We then finished our shoulder portion of the workout and we moved on to our triceps and I always like to warm up my triceps with these single cable pushdowns which I kind of just go super light once again maybe like 10 pounds or so and just really like to push down and squeeze at the bottom and so here you're seeing a cable kind of like a french press but overhead and what's funny about this is I actually did a dumbbell french press as well but it was very crowded in the gym today so I was not able to film that. And now this long clip you're seeing, I always like to finish my triceps off with just cable pushdowns and I'll do a ton when basically I'll go as heavy as I can for 12 reps and then I will wait 10 seconds and then try to hit 12 reps again and then I will repeat this till I can't hit 12 reps and then I drop the pin one and wait another 10 seconds and then go at it again. And I'll keep doing this until my triceps are basically blown out. This can go 5 minutes or I'll go until it's super lightweight where even with a squeeze and it being impossible it really won't be building much at that point but i always like to finish up my tricep workouts like this to have as much blood in my triceps as possible and it's probably up there with the single arm warm-up that i do these two are my favorite tricep movements i need to start incorporating more overhead presses but that will be for another day and that's all for my commentary today and i hope you guys like the video what's up everybody so clayton has now left so after the gym we went to chipotle and we got bowls to go and then we took them to my house and we ate them where i am now obviously and then i showered and then me and my mom are going to go to dinner so i'm actually going to cut it here but thank you guys so much for watching and subscribing i'm super stoked that it's kind of growing <laughs> i'm happy with it i love just basically trying to entertain people and keeping the videos going and i have a lot of fun making them so i'm gonna keep making them to the best of my abilities and trying to improve every day but thank you guys so much for watching and i know a lot of people are going back to school like i am i'm not excited but good luck to everyone who has school coming up and yeah thanks for watching <laughs>